Third wiser, never heard live. Equalizer slash analyzer. What's up everybody? My name is Black Magic, aka Black Magic Records, and you can get all of my music on Boomplay all. You can get version 1.0, you can get version 2.0, and you can get the latest one, version 3.0, all on Boomplay. Stream, listen, let me know what you think. Peace. What do you want from me? Black magic, black better, moshe, dada, moshe, jeje. Um, well, yes, they say love song, you know, about smile. About uh, the love of my life. I mean, who I haven't, I haven't met yet, but based on belief, I didn't, you know. I, I was speaking to her and I was making that song for her, so. That's my love that's her, so. You know. It's a. I, I came up with the song, it was part of a project called Five Love Letters, and. Yeah. Uh, well, that was one of the love letters, and. I was trying my hand with something new. I just wanted to, you know, fuck up the whole flow of how music was sounding at that point and just slow it down and give them something different, you know. So that's what that whole project was about. But I ended up taking the record test song out of the Five Love Letters project and putting it on 2.0, the album. Yeah. That's basically it. Tomorrow, <laughs> wow, that was, I mean, that was my state of mind at that point in time, you know, about my anxiety and, and all that was worrying me and how, you know, I, I didn't need to worry about the future, what was going to happen. I was like, man, just live your best life and, and don't worry. If you believe in yourself and you believe in God, then you shouldn't worry about it tomorrow. You should just live your life, you know. And that, that was the whole consciousness I was trying to project it. Look at all this alcohol I'm drinking. I'm not thinking about tomorrow. That means, you know, I'm partying, you know, stuff. And look at all these fine, fine girls I'm kissing, you know. Love, you know. Spreading love over the place. I'm not thinking about tomorrow because, you know, tomorrow is tomorrow. Today's all that matters, kind of, was the whole message, yeah. That was actually from a project called Seven Reasons Why I'm Great, and I just took that one and Rainbow, I took those songs out and put it on 1.0 of the album, yeah. I see the different colors of the rainbow, which one I go take, all the glitters and gold. Rainbow, Rainbow is, yeah, it's about confusion. Um, it was off of the Seven Reasons Why I'm Great project, and yeah, Seven Colors of the Rainbow. It was, as a, it was at a time where I wasn't sure what I exactly wanted to do. So you know how they say at the end of the rainbow there's a pot of gold. So which and every color of the rainbow reaches the end of the rainbow. So which color am I going to say? Is it the purple? Is it yellow? Is it, I was like, the yellow, purple will be all right. Those are suggestions. Things your family is telling you, things your friends are telling you, things that other people are telling you. But there's something about green I just can't hide, which is how I feel. You know, so about music. So, so the song is about some some people say the song is about drugs, isn't it? Really. What you expect I meet and exceed all based on the cheap Believe Papa God blessing I go pass you by Ah pass you by Ah that's 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 one of my you know, so these are songs that you know almost like tomorrow it's about you know belief and just uh, rem a gentle reminder that you know Nobody can take what's yours away from you. I mean, it's like, it's like an email that's sent to you. you know, nobody else can receive it but you, you know, like a package that has your name on it. Nobody can, you know, take your blessings away from you, which is kind of how some people feel uh, in Nigeria. And that's why they act that animalistic for survival, you know, trying to take yours, trying to take somebody else's, trying to take, but you, you can't take somebody else's thing, you cannot leave. Yeah. Take what's yours. If you take what somebody else is, there's consequences for it. So, about God blessing, it will pass you by. A reminder that you just keep doing what you're doing, you'll be fine. And 
when you get to the point where you have to access your blessings, you will access those. Nobody can take away from you. Some people are like, oh, you know, I for I for they great if this guy no do this thing, man. That doesn't happen. I mean, that can, people can try, but it can never happen. What's yours will always come to you as long as you keep pushing. And now the step to zone. Bring our koboko and wake up the bastards. Oh, do bless them. You put them. Bastards. Bastards, three words, man. Yeah. It's a radical song about, about where. Um, about Nigeria and Nigerians basically and how a bastard is a child that you know doesn't know his father and is basically a child disconnected from his roots or not not born in a proper family structure like the outcast you know kind of and those are, that's what Nigerians are you know we're all bastards you know we don't we've lost touch with our motherland and we're, you know, employing concepts that are foreign to try and fix our own situation and it's kind of stupid, but, you know, a bastard is a bastard. Africa, one plus one, mass teacher, B.O.B., a capital, C.O.M. Africa was one of those songs that was supposed to say, it's a hip-hop song about So basically when I say, hmm, Africa, it's a, it's a, it's a very sarcastic statement, you know, it's almost like fuckery, you know, you know, so it's like an expression of, when I'm exclaiming like, you know, like God damn it, or shit, you know, okay, Africa, you know. So yeah, it's a hip hop joint about you know where we're at, this side of the world, and yeah, just try to. I tried to lighten it up, and not it didn't really go with the, the theme that I wanted to initially because it was too heavy. So I just kind of lightened it up, and then it features some of the best Nigerian artists in that song. <laughs> 